Hello YouTubers. In this video, I got three potentiometer with the RGB LED to get multicolors. First, I change the red color one slowly up, slowly down. Now I change the green color one slowly up, slowly down. Now I change the blue color one slowly up, slowly down. Now I'm going to mix the colors, the blue little bit and then green little bit and then red also a little bit. Like that we get multicolors. Longer pin of LED connected to ground. Other three pins connected via 100 to 500 ohm resistor to A1, A2, A3. Potentiometer, one side of the potentiometer connected to ground for three of them. Other side of potentiometer connected to 3.3 volt for all three. Middle pin of the potentiometer connected to A7, B0, B1. The wiring connection is like this. The ground going to the ground rail and for the LED and three resistors and three wires here for the LED which goes to these three pins. And this ground and 3.3 volt going to the rail and these three pins going to the potentiometer middle pin and the potentiometer is like this. Next one. And the next one. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Now we can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys. For the debug, Serial Wire. Click Analog. ADC1 and uh, we tick in 7 and in 8 and in 9. We tick all of them, three of them. Now we go below in the configuration parameter setting. We go below, make sure the continuous conversion is enabled. That's all for the potentiometer. Now we do the LED part for the PWM. Click timers. Click TIM2. Uh, clock source. Internal clock. Now we enable 2, 3 and 4. So channel 2, PW generation channel 2. Channel 3, PW generation CA3. And uh, channel 4. PW generation CH4. Now we go to configuration and uh, parameter setting. Prescaler, pre we make it 1 to 7. And the counter period, we make it 6 to 5. Yeah, that's all the setting. Now we can click save. While the code is being generated, I show you something. In the description below, I have given a web address. This one. And when you go below, the diagram is here. The picture is here. And the cube ID setting we've already done. That's here. Code is here. We can copy and paste. We can save the time for the User code, user code PV, we need to select this seven line, copy it, go there and user code PV, which is uh, here, oh, the right place, here. We paste it. Now we go there again, user code begin two, we paste these three lines. That's for the PWM, PWM start. Copy it. And paste it in the same place. Finally, in the while loop, we copy from here until HL delay 10. Copy it. 
and we paste it in the while loop. What it does is it set the different channel and reads the ADC value for channel 9, 8 and 7 and then it divides to make it from 0 to, uh, 0 to 6 to 5 and then we set the PWM and the small delay. That's all. We can click save. Use the hammer button to debug and see. Zero errors. Now we can click the green button to upload the code. Click debugger. Debug probe is I use open OCD to work with the original board also with the clone board. Now so generate option and the reset mode is software system reset and click apply click ok now it will upload the code we can see the progress here thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i will try to answer as much as i can thank thanks bye